guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode 15 of season 4 of Riverdale, chapter 72, To Die For. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, Here's my review of episode 15 of season 4 of Riverdale, chapter 72, To Die For. The fact that Alice was making a documentary about Jughead's death was horrible. Yes, Jughead wasn't actually dead, but you would think she would want to let everyone mourn instead of making a documentary. I really loved seeing how concerned Cheryl was about Betty and how she wanted to make sure that Betty wouldn't commit suicide, which made sense since Cheryl got to that point when Jason died but was saved by Betty, Veronica, Archie, and Jughead. I already hated Donna, but her fake crying and telling FP that Betty, Veronica, and Archie killed Jughead made me hate her even more. And I was also surprised that FP believed her, since he knows that the Stonewall kids can't be trusted. But, based on Betty and Jughead's conversation, we know that FP is in on Jughead faking his death, so it makes sense. I was surprised that Alice believed that Betty really did kill Jughead and that it wasn't the Stonewall kids, since Alice knows what they're like. So it was good that The Rock came back negative with blood since Betty switched it and Betty, Veronica, and Archie were free to go. It was also really enjoyable to see how freaked out Donna and Brett were when they found out that Betty, Veronica, and Archie were released. Even though Jughead was fine, his funeral was really emotional, but it wasn't okay when Donna asked Jellybean when the last time she saw Jughead was, and when Brett tried to open the coffin. Even though Jughead's alive, you don't do that at a funeral. It really annoyed me that Hermosa was trying to figure out what Veronica was hiding, but it also proved even more that Betty, Veronica, and Archie should have come up with a story about why they were out so late, since Hermosa found out that they each told their parents different stories. I already suspected that Jughead wasn't really dead, but Betty and Archie kissing sealed the deal. Betty loves Jughead, so if he was really dead, she wouldn't go and kiss another boy so soon. Especially her best friend's boyfriend. Obviously, Betty knew that Donna would follow her to the bunker when Donna caught her with Archie, but it was also really nice to see that Veronica and Archie were in on Betty's plan and that Betty told Alice the truth. Which was, obviously, Jughead's alive. And I thought that that would cause Donna to stop pestering Betty about Jughead being alive. But since Donna saw three milkshakes, she knows that Jughead is really alive. I really want to know what Hermosa found out about Donna. But whatever it is, it looks like it'll be able to finally help take down Donna and the rest of the Stonewall kids. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And if you want to see any of my previous Riverdale reviews, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!